This is a quick video to show some of the um, layer options inside Squarespace to show how when the screen width gets narrower, um, a particular layout will um, collapse in different ways depending on how you laid it out in the first place. So we'll start by editing uh, an existing page. And I'm going to put a layout together. First of all, I'm going to do a uh, a layout where there are two columns and when the page gets narrower the right hand column ends up laying out underneath the left hand column so to do that let me insert some content so then we have let's say an image it doesn't have to actually have an image in it it's just a placeholder and underneath the image let's have some copy okay so we imagine that's our, our first column so let's make a second column so we go back to the top we get the selector and we'll have another image for the start of the second column. So we need to drag this image to the right-hand side. You see the um, black line? So if I let go now, that image will drop it underneath the other image before the text. If I let go of it now, it'll go to the right of the uh, image, but the text underneath it will be full width of the page. If I move to the right, if you see that line going now, the full length of the page, if I let go now, the image will be in its own column to the right of the other image so like that and there they are and then if I um, add a text block into here and add some copy into it you can see I've now got a two column layout and if I go to uh, another browser refresh the page OK, so now if I make this window narrower, it's probably easier if I do it in developer mode so I can show it responsively. OK, so at some point this is going to collapse, probably when it gets close to mobile phone width. Yep, there you go. So that's column one and column two. So that's one way of collapsing things. What we also might want is something where we have a layout where we want uh, the, instead of collapsing that uh, vertically, we have we would have these things would be on the same row. So it could be, I'll, I'll fake that one up. So I'm just going to reset. Okay, I've reset the page to blank. And an easy way to do this is to actually insert some horizontal lines into your page where you want your rows to be. So I'm going to have, say, I'm going to have three rows. Uh, two or three rows. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is um, I'm going to put an image into row one. There's an image, and that image is going to go full width because at the moment we only have one column. And then that image, I want it to have text to the right of it. So I grab text, I'm going to put it to the right of the image. I need to make sure, look, there, there we go, you see the black line is before the horizontal line of the page. So now I go into there and I'll have text, that's text one. Okay, now I'm going to add a second row. So when I add a second row, uh, add an image. And that image needs to go there, full width. And then I'm going to add text to the right of it again. I just need to see that I think that's going to be right. Yeah, that'll be right. Call that text two. And we'll do a third one as well. So we can go down here and we can add a third image. And we can add text to the right of it. So go like that. Right to it. Okay, so now we've got the layout right, but we don't necessarily want these horizontal lines, so we can now take them out. Delete. Oh, it's got an old text block there as well, get rid of that. Delete. And there's one at the bottom. Delete. And click save. So now we've got row one, row two. Oh, I should really change the text there, so it says text three, shouldn't I? Row three. Go across to the other browser. And we 
make it full width. Refresh it. Okay, so row one, row two, row three, we have in our layout. And now if I make it narrower, what will happen is it will collapse so that it should have picture, then text, then picture, then text. So it gets to a certain point. And there it is. So that's picture one, text one, picture two, text two, picture three, text three. 